Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a video about the kind of uh, citrusy type perfumes that I have in my collection, or fresh. So um, I've got more, more than half of this is going to be just citrusy perfumes, and then the last three I have I would just consider kind of like fresh perfumes. They're not necessarily citrus, but um, these are probably the least... These are the types of fragrance, excuse me, that I have the least amount in my collection. Uh, I typically don't go for very citrusy, uh, really fresh types of perfume. I do love citrus perfumes if they're done really well. Um, I don't, they typically don't last a long time on my skin though, and so for that reason I kind of steer clear of them. Same with kind of fresh type scents. So. Um, yeah, but I do have quite a few here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and then I will talk to you about why I love the ones that I do have in my collection. So let's talk about the first one. The first one is the oldest perfume. Um, this is possibly the oldest perfume I have in my collection. And this is Decan Y Woman. So, or women, sorry, women, not woman. Um, so I have had this perfume Oh gosh, probably from, since the late 90s, um, very early 2000s. This was launched in 1999 and I remember very clearly because I was working in a department store at that time and um, yeah, I remember this was the hot ticket at that time. Everybody was wearing this fragrance. The whole department store always smelled like it. It was just, uh, it was, I was working at a department store called the Bon Marche at that time, but um, it was actually Macy's. It was just called the Bon Marche in the part of the country that I grew up in, which was the Pacific Northwest. So anyways, fun fact. Um, I remember this so, so clearly, and I remember thinking it was so unique and so cool and like such an edgy type fragrance for the time. Uh, so the top notes on this one are green tomato leaves, which is really, um, you really smell that, those tomato leaves or that tomato leaf um, fragrance in this, which is very, very unique. Uh, red orange juice, cold vodka. The heart is water lily, orchid, and daffodil, and the base is birch and tulip. So this is a very, very unique smelling fragrance. I still think it's really cool, even still to this day. This is not a safe blind buy, I would say, because this, um, if you know what tomato leaves smell like, this has that in it very distinctly. Um, Oh my gosh, this is it's really, really beautiful though. I still love this perfume. I don't wear it very often, but I still love it. And it still smells as good today as it did back when I purchased it in the late 90s. So um, that just goes to show you that if fragrance is stored properly, it does not go bad. So i um, super excited to still have this one around. And this is a really beautiful, unique fragrance. Okay, the next one I have is one that I just picked up... Um, within the last three to four months, I would say. And this I picked up for so inexpensive. I wanna say um, I got, I had a discount code and using my discount code with this perfume, I think it was on sale, I wanna say I paid like $11 for this, but this is the uh, 4711 Nouveau Cologne. Now 4711 is a very like old fashioned, it's been around forever um, fragrance, and this is the Nouveau one, so this is like a newer edition. I think this came out in 2011. Yes, this came out in 2011. Oh my gosh, and I love this. And for being a citrusy cologne type scent, um, or really a, an actual cologne, um, oh, it's beautiful and it lasts really, really well on the skin for being a citrus scent. So the notes on this are top notes of yuzu, black currant, and lychee, which I love black currant. Um, the yuzu makes it so bright and crisp and citrusy smelling and just beautiful. Uh, heart notes of geranium, heliotrope, and peony, and base notes of musk, sandalwood, and tonka bean. So this is just a really beautiful, clean, crisp, citrusy fragrance uh, that actually lasts on the skin. So if you ever come across this, I highly recommend it. I definitely think if you like citrus type perfumes or fresh scents, that this is definitely a safe blind buy. Really, really beautiful. 
Okay, the next one I have to talk about is another one that's new to my collection. I just hauled this from TJ Maxx not too long ago. Oh gosh, and this is Versace Versense. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. So this is top notes of bergamot, green mandarin, and fig zest. Heart notes of sea lily, jasmine petals, and cardamom, and base notes of sandalwood, cedar, olive wood, and musk. And this is gorgeous. This is a citrus fragrance but with a woody base to it. It's really, really beautiful and this lasts on the skin quite well for being a fresh citrusy type fragrance. Um, I got a lot of comments on my TJ Maxx haul video where I hauled this fragrance that this is a good dupe for um, Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. I have not ever spell smelled that fragrance before so I couldn't tell you if it's a good dupe but I love this. Really, really beautiful. I would definitely say if you like citrus fragrances as well, this is a good safe blind buy. Okay, next one I have to talk about is another one that's kind of new to my uh, collection, and that is Cologne Royale by Christian Dior. So this is from their exclusive line, and I just ordered a bunch of minis from the exclusive line. Oh gosh, and this is beautiful. This is um, supposed to be based on kind of those old-fashioned barbershop type cologne scents and I would definitely say that it is it's really beautiful this is basically uh, citruses neroli and white musk very simple fragrance very clean very fresh um, this does not last long on the skin though you will get one to two hours out of this max so um, yeah I think that's quite expensive if you were to buy a full bottle of this uh, because the fragrance would definitely not last on your skin for very long, but I'm super happy to have it in this little mini. Okay, next I have, uh, very new to my collection, I just picked this one up uh, within the last couple weeks, and I'm so, so glad I did because this is not one that I probably would have picked up had I not um, heard it being spoken highly of from another YouTuber called Delicious Delights. Uh, this is Lady Gaga's Eau de Gaga. So I picked this up for very, very inexpensively. This was $10, I believe, on Mercari, and it was in a sealed box, so it was brand spanking new. And I love, love, love this fragrance. I wore this to work the other day, and it lasted all day long. Um, probably around the eight-hour mark. I couldn't smell it on myself anymore, but definitely a good solid eight-hour wear time out of this. I was very happy about that. This is gorgeous. This is citrus with a leather base. This is stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, this is an expensive smelling perfume. This is, like Delicious Delight said, this is a an almost niche smelling perfume. It's really, really gorgeous. And the top note on this is lime, heart note is white violet, and the base note is leather. It's very simple, it's very clean, it's beautiful, it's elegant smelling with that beautiful leather note in it. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I didn't know, because I had not looked the notes up on this uh, at the time that I wore it, that I actually wore it to work that time. Um, and I kept smelling something really beautiful and I had no idea it was leather because I don't have a, a trained enough nose to be able to pick out notes um, without knowing that it's there. Oh my gosh, but this is gorgeous. So um, I also got a comment on the last video that I mentioned this in that these are showing up in like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So yeah, definitely if you like citrus fragrances, I would say this is definitely a safe blind buy and it's a steal. It's gorgeous. So Okay, the next one I have to talk about. Let me get my notes here. <laughs> Can't, I couldn't do these videos without notes, I don't think. Okay, the next one I have to talk about, we're going to be getting into the more fresh type perfumes now. So those were all of these citrus fragrances that I have in my collection. And now I'm just going to be talking about some fresh kind of floral fruity fragrances because I don't have a ton of these either. So I paired them into the same video so I could have a long enough um, video. So the next one I have to talk about is Endless Euphoria. I've got a cute little half ounce bottle here that I love and... This is a gorgeous fragrance. This is one that I wish it lasted longer on my skin. It's really, really beautiful, um, but it does not last on my skin. I can get a few hours out of this max. 
So top notes on this are cherry blossom, mandarin, and bergamot, heart notes of pastel, rose, and violets, and base notes of bamboo, sandalwood, and musk. This is beautiful. This is a very light, airy, fresh uh, floral fragrance with a little bit of citrus in there. Heavy, heavy on the cherry blossom. So if you like cherry blossom, I think you would really, really love this. Um, if you're looking for just a really beautiful, everyday, easy to wear, fresh, clean, inoffensive, light fragrance, I think you would love this. And um, yeah, this is Endless Euphoria by Calvin Klein. Okay, the next one I have to talk about is, this is one that I actually got in a um, bundle of fragrances that I, the, in fact, the next two that I have to talk about are fragrances that I actually received in a bundle, like in a bundle. I think they were actually in the same bundle that I bought for just one fragrance that wasn't either of these, but I got really lucky with these fragrances because I actually like them. Um, the first one I have to talk about is Marc Jacobs Honey. So how cute is that bottle? I love it so much. It's really, really cute. Now, you would expect... A fragrance named honey to smell like honey but this does not smell like honey this doesn't smell like honey to me at all this just smells like a beautiful fresh clean perfume this lasts quite well on the skin um, you can definitely get a good six to eight hours out of this for being like one of those more fresh smelling perfumes oh it's really really beautiful so the top notes on this are pear mandarin orange and peach heart notes of honeysuckle orange blossom and no I'm sorry, that wasn't peach in the top notes, that was punch in the top notes. There is peach in the middle um, after orange blossom, and the base is honey, vanilla, and woody notes. So, again, I don't get any honey in this at all. I just get the beautiful um, floral, fruity, with a little bit of the woodiness in the base, but this is a nice, light, floral, uh, fruity, just inoffensive, easy fragrance to wear. Uh, yeah, I was really, really excited to have gotten this after I smelled it, and it smelled really, really beautiful, so. Okay, and the last one I have to talk about is another one that came in that same bundle that um, I really didn't know anything about until I received it, and that is the Harajuku Lovers, or Gwen Stefani Fragrance, and this is in the scent just G. So... Oh, this one's really, really beautiful. Um, another one I'm really glad to have in my collection. This is, apparently she did a, a range or a line that was called Wicked Style, and so this is from the Wicked Style line. And this is apple, peach, pineapple, melon, peony, tuberose, raspberry, musk, and aquatic notes. And again, just beautiful. You get a little bit more fruitiness in this than any of the others I've spoken of today. Oh gosh, this is this is just beautiful. I can smell the peach and the kind of aquatic notes. Really, really beautiful. The pear. I love this. This is really fresh. Another one that would just be super easy to just spray on. Very easy to wear. Could be worn any time of year. Just really, really nice perfume. Really feminine and fun and light and airy. Um, I have not tested this all day yet so I'm not totally sure what the longevity would be like but um, if it if I could base it on the longevity of her other perfumes I would say a good solid four hours um, I don't get much more than four hours out of the Gwen Stefani fragrances um, but yeah this is a really really nice one I'm really excited to have it in my collection so anyways guys those are my citrus slash fresh type perfumes that I own that I do have in my collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. If it was, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.